Hi there, Divine Masculines. Now I hope you guys are doing well today um, and throughout the week. Now we're going to go ahead and touch base on you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard nobody's business. Like, uh, uh, like somebody's trying to like, you know, scramble just to kind of like, you know, run and hide or whatever the case. I don't know what secrecy you guys have going on. But anyways, we're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to get some general messages. We're going to take a look at your love life, see what's going on, you know, where you guys are at currently, how you guys feel, maybe get some messages from your DFs. Um, you guys did kind of peek through in there reading a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, I was going to do this, you know, for Valentine's Day, just to kind of see where you guys are at, you know, like in the area of love but we'll, we'll see how this reading turns out i mean that was the intention for the dfs reading we'll see once again so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in thank you for the likes subscribes comments etc now for those of you who are new to the channel welcome to self-love and growth if you haven't done so be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can stay alert when i post more videos for you guys um be sure to read the information and the disclaimer and description box down below and keep in mind that this is just a general reading as I'm going to be tapping into the collective here so it might not resonate with all of you and if you do find that it resonates with you then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below let me know what you think it does help me pick up on your energy for future reads okay so let's go ahead and dive into it for you guys let's see what you guys have been up to what are some secrets you guys are hiding? Let's see. What's going on? What are you guys up to? I had already pre-shuffled these, so we should be good to go. Let's see. What's going on with the DMs? Mind you, in the... I was going to say the Queen's reading. Well, yeah, we could say the Queen's reading. In the DFs reading, um, you guys were pretty much mirroring one another. But I see you guys stepping into your energy, stepping into your power. Others of you, you're needing to. But I do see where you guys are being spiritually guided to go within. Um, wow. Look at this. You guys, you guys, right now, your goal is mastering yourself. Going within harboring your own look at this yeah you guys are stepping it up you guys are stepping it up on a whole new level here you guys are definitely stepping it up look at this this is a freaking beautiful reading and then just because we'll go ahead and add two of wands here too just because this is a beautiful reading like your energy right now you guys are focused you guys are driven a lot of you are coming from a more stable place of course because it's divine masculines now it's not male or female you know gender specific so just take what resonates but right now we're just focusing on the masculine energy so of course you guys are going to be mirroring the feminine energy um doesn't necessarily mean your person per se but it could it could um wow you guys are focused you guys are driven you guys are just ready to just woof, like just just flourish like okay so like with the with the dfs i'm seeing for them they were in their little cocoon you know and for you guys i see you guys coming out as like the butterflies here Like, it's one hell of a transition with the death and rebirth, the fool. I mean, you have the world card. So there's a lot of endings and new beginnings, a lot of cycles you're about to get into, um, a lot of projects, a lot of endeavors that you're, you're, you're setting out to. And even spiritually, spiritually, for a lot of you, I am seeing, oh, okay, oh, okay. So there, there's a group of you, DMs or kings, where you guys are being called to vibrate higher. You're being called to ascend here. You're being called to go within for your own 
spiritual enlightenment here because the thing is you guys have been too attached to the material world and the material things but I see a lot of spiritual transformation and transcendence here like you guys are working I'm seeing a lot of mirror work too which is what I was picking up with the DFs uh, the divine feminine collective reading here and I'm seeing a lot of mirroring Now, others of you, you guys are divinely guided and divinely protected. You guys, much like them, are just ready to move forward and take action, take a leap of faith. Okay? Like, I see where you guys could be planning or needing to rest or have fun. I also see... I don't want to say much struggle, but I do see where you guys could be overthinking overplaying a particular role but you guys are being patient and steady and waiting especially for your fruits to manifest for your fruits to harvest here for the things that you guys want things that you guys are working hard for you know even in the material world the physical world like i see so much success with you guys i see i just heard amplitude amplitude one of those words or maybe both I mean, I see where you guys are called to go within. I see where you guys are, you know, starting to trust your intuition or needing to trust your intuition. So even if you, if, even if there are some of you that aren't in this energy right now, you will be. You're being led to, you're being guided to. I just heard trust the universe, trust yourself, trust your source, whatever it is that you believe in. I mean, let's get some more. Let's get some more. Because this is a beautiful energy that you guys are being in right now. Like, you guys are becoming a little bit more childlike. You know, with having fun, releasing, letting go. You know, detaching from, like, you know, whatever doesn't resonate with you or your highest good. Or your overall purpose here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some more. Let's see what else is going on. Like, I do see you guys working hard. I do see you guys trying to, like, you know, work to work for a particular aim here for more success, for more growth. Like, I do see in a sense where you guys are worried and carry, you know, caring about yourselves, working together, collaborating with other people. Let's see what else is going on. Some of you guys, or most of you guys, are real good manifestors. You're real good at getting what it is that you want. But when it comes to the matter of the heart here, when it comes to what belongs to you or what you guys feel belongs to you, you know, from the heart. I'm seeing where you guys could need a little bit more balance here, even with the Two of Pentacles. I'm seeing where you guys can need a little bit more balance here, balancing the feminine aspects of yourself, which I did see a little bit here with the heart, no, the high priestess, or is it? What the hell? I thought I saw it. Did I skip it? Oh, right here with the high priestess. I mean, mind you, you guys came out with the high priestess and the hierophant. And that was like the same thing even with the DFs. Like both had came out. And it was it's tremendous because it really shows that you guys are like stepping into your higher selves, your higher versions. And you guys are just, you know, progressing overall. You guys are realizing a lot like there's a lot of things that you're going to be coming to see not just um like in your visions in your dreams you know however you guys are going to be seeing this but this is like a way for the universe for your higher self or you know for god or you know your angels or guides this is you know the way that they're able to communicate with you for you to understand for you to actually see and through that communication however they're communicating with you guys um you're going to come to a realization of not just your own power but the power source within um the power 
between you and the connections with others as well as your twin flame even I just heard delving into the spirit so you're gonna be doing a lot more work um, like hand in hand with them because and oh my god look at this so remember how I was telling you guys like with the divine feminines you know they were like in that cocoon stage you know turning into well you guys probably don't know <laughs> but if I mean I know some of you guys were in the DF reading so you guys can go ahead and check that out too because um, I did pick up on some of the DM's energy in the DF's reading but in that reading um, you know the DF's you know they were like in that cocoon stage you know and then flourishing into like the butterfly like transitioning into that butterfly of course that just means that they're just transitioning their life it could be you know everything around them you know the environment around them physically or it could just be mentally or spiritually you know energetically just changing these things I do see where you guys could be manipulating it for things to go in your favor to be doing that as well like I said you guys are you know master manifestors here but how I said before you know with you guys you know becoming that butterfly stage this is you here with this tower moment so something's going to be shaken up if it hasn't already it will um within your core i just heard universal core within your spirit because you're going to be delving into the spirit that's what they said delving into the spirit so there's going to be a lot of work hand in hand that you guys are going to be going through and undergoing because your your dfs they're already doing that they're all they're basically paving the way they've already had a head start you guys are going to be falling into that pattern <clears throat> if you're not doing so already you guys will it's just a matter of you healing the matters of the heart here becoming more in tune more one with nature more connected more abundant more prosperous um you, these are things that you guys will be successful in you know once you make that transition or to continue ascending and, and, and transcending. Um, but I do see where you guys are going to be guided and led, you know, into a certain direction, you know, away from others, away from a particular group, away from a particular event, away from, you know, whatever you're meant to, to, to get away from. Like, I do see where you're going to be collaborating with other people, you know, not just the non-physical, but even in the physical, I do see, you know, like where a lot of these projects, a lot of these gems, I just heard gemstones, but a lot of these things, um, you know, will flourish and prosper. Of course, because that's your intention. That's where you set your mind to. Um, but it's also just a matter of you not doing it alone anymore, but also being careful of who you trust being careful of who and what you listen to, especially when it comes to your own mind, your own thoughts, because I'm hearing power of the thoughts, power of the mind right now. So be careful what you're feeding your mind because it will manifest. Whatever is you're thinking or overthinking, that's just something you might want to, you know, watch out for. Because I see where you guys you know have like an overload of work overload of responsibility obligations things that you guys are carrying and you're just kind of like i'm tired i'm you know there's just too much it's too much like you guys need to be able to relax a little bit more you guys really need to be able to you know be in touch with your feminine side and i'm not talking about you know your twin flame per se but i'm just talking about the feminine aspects of yourself of you yourself that feminine aspect you guys need to be able to be more in tune with that aspect of yourself in order to heal and you know to be able to encourage others you know more positively you know especially when it comes to the way that you're talking <laughs> i'm sorry i was like so distracted by this tv show um but the way that you guys are talking you know to yourself or down yourself because it's like i see where you guys could be uplifting others but the question is what about yourself it's like you guys have like these hardcore exterior you know shells but then it's like on the inside it's like all soft and mushy but that's not something you're going to reveal to everybody in the world now is it no of course not but a lot of you often feel like 
<laughs> a lot of you, I'm sorry. I'm like so distracted from this show. It's like even if it's on mute, I still know exactly what's going on. It's just it's just funny because the facial expressions. But anyways, um, yes, back to you guys. Okay. So I'm seeing that whoever this person is, which I am getting that it is your person. It is is your your DF here, your DFs. I am seeing because you guys are letting go. I see you know, some of you, you had to let go in order to flourish, in order to succeed, in order to prosper. You had to let go. But then others of you, it's like you you, you delve into work rather than into your spirit. And it's just kind of like, let me see. Like, I see that you guys are trusting the process, you know? You guys are definitely trusting the process. You guys are, you know, trying to be patient with the situation, you know, and just let the universe, you know, let, you know, the guides or God or whatever you believe in, like, let, let, you know, divine timing play into to factor here. But with the Six of Wands energy, it's not just your energy that I'm picking up here. I'm also picking up on your DFs as far as you guys you know align aligning and mirroring one another and you know eventually moving into that direction because i see you guys here coming out with the knight of cups but there's just certain things that you guys are gonna have to balance and i see even here with you guys you know not just holding on to success holding on to your dreams holding on to your desires holding on to your goals here like you're trying to do everything that you can to make sure that everything is in order for when you guys do meet when you guys do come together because look at this two of cups here and i also heard not everybody is gonna like not everybody is gonna approve but it's just a matter of you improving yourselves from one another okay Like, I see where you guys could be expanding, expanding your knowledge, expanding your viewpoint, expanding your consciousness. Like, this is your goal. This is your dream. Like, this is where your heart lies here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Like, you, this is literally mirroring the DF's energy here. Like, I see where you guys, you know, like, while you guys are focused on your career, especially them with the Six of Wands. Like, they keep going back to the Six of Wands here. You know, especially with them focusing, you know, with this, yeah, it could bring them in the spotlight. As for others of you, you you all could also be within the spotlight, some way, shape, or form. Um, okay, so this is what they want me, because I'm being called to do this, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get into the Six of Wands energy right here, right now. We'll get the Six of Wands. Look at that. Yep, that's them that is them so right now they're focused on their career but the thing is they're also they're on the verge of something and whatever it ends up being yep they're focused on their career they're focused on their own abundance and while they're doing so it's gonna lead them to victory it's gonna lead them to success and, you know, this could also be you too. I mean, I was picking heavy on their energy, but this could be you too. Because I see a lot of love coming their way, a lot of admiration, a lot of applause, a lot of everything. Not just for you guys, but for them especially. Like, they're going to be placed in a situation where you guys, you, you guys, you guys will like it, you will admire it. Because this is going to allow you... So this kind of ties in with the DFs. This is going to allow them to venture off in a new direction. And in that direction, it's going to meet up with you. I just heard meet up with spouse, meet up with... It's going to meet up with you. Or, I mean, if they consider you as a spouse, or it could be, you know, that they are with somebody at this time, depending on, you know, the situation. Because everybody's situation is different. Um... Mm. 
Ooh, excuse me. Like your energy right now is like intertwined with theirs. Like as far as your dreams and your goals expanding, the caring, the feelings, the maturing, being focused and driven and embodying love and self-care more. It's like as you guys are like in that energy, you guys are being drawn closer and closer to one another. Keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of other people, you know, interested in your DFs. There's going to be a lot of other people attracted and heading in that direction. You one of them too, but they know where their heart belongs. But I'm also getting something to do with a soulmate connection as well. So some of them might already be involved with somebody. Others they could they could potentially have somebody else come in it's like you're there <laughs> i i get like the knight of swords with you guys and the knight of swords isn't here right now but i'm getting the knight of swords with you guys like that charging in like just ready to persist and pursue and like uh-uh like i'm i'm coming in now uh-uh it's like fuck them nope i'm coming in i'm coming in um that's what i'm getting here with you guys so we have the three of cups the page of cups and the knight of wands you guys are ready you guys like overall you guys are ready to um step into this new direction I mean, some of you, like, there's still, like, work. A lot of this, now keep in mind, even if this isn't something that's going on physically, this is something, you know, because I am getting a lot of air energy, too. I'm getting a lot of earthly vibes, too. So it could be, but I'm also getting... We're going to pull some more cards on that in a moment because I... Like, what I'm picking up, the messages, you know... From you guys like what i'm picking up i'm gonna pull some more cards on that so you guys can actually speak clearly or whatever the case i know some of the dfs you know are probably here listening or watching seeing what's up they're just being quiet right now as for you guys we'll, we'll get into that in a second um What was I going to say? I keep losing my damn train of thought. <laughs> I keep losing it. Um, there's, okay. So when it comes to this love and respect, I just heard, when it comes to a love and respect and getting the attention from the DFs, there's going to be competition. But I also see where there could be, I just heard some contingency, but I, I also see where there could be some complications as far as like rising to the top and progressing and succeeding, even though it's not going to be difficult for you guys, but I'm, in regards to having that with them, because there's going to be other people. But of course, you know, there's a matter of you guys letting go and detaching from old ways of thinking and believing um, things that no longer serve you for your highest good. Because I do see where you guys will be coming in together, of course. They just have to make that move in that direction. And then once they do, once that's solidified, they're going to be soaring from there. They're going to be, you know, focusing on their career, doing their thing. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that or picked up on that, you know. And if not, then you could just check the DFs reading. Um, okay, so let's get more, let's get more on the, on the DMs. Let's get more on the DMs. Like, you guys, like, your, your, your feelings, everything, your emotions, like, you guys are, like, mirroring each other, but, like, there's something to do with what you're concerned about. Hold on one second. There's something to do with what you're concerned about. Concerned about what? What are the DMs concerned about? What are they concerned about? Reciprocity. 
losing faith, losing hope. I'm getting aggravation. But then here you have the sun card, so not so much. But I'm getting some type of aggravation or frustration with the seven of swords here. It could be that whatever it is that you guys are trying to do or trying to manipulate in your direction isn't going in that direction. I do see where some things can actually be good on the surface, but then underneath it's like there's a lot of healing, a lot of work that needs to be done if it's still not done. I see where you guys want to focus on the new, become a little bit more childlike, more free, more open, more positive. You guys are more focused, even though you guys are focused on yourselves, you guys are also focused on your on your love life here because a lot of you you're wanting that you're wanting to improve that as well you're definitely wanting that you're worried about not getting you know the, the the love the care you know the respect and everything reciprocated especially because right now at this time your dfs are doing the work they need to do and they're progressing they're succeeding at the same time you know that's where their minds are at and then of course you know you guys it's like they're also because like I said, you guys are mirroring one another. You guys are doing the same thing. But it's like your mind is also, you know, wandering and wondering about them. Like I am seeing where, you know, you need to have more fun, have more play, have more patience. I, I'm also getting a little bit of walking away energy. So either you walked away from them, they walked away from you. You both walked away from each other. You know, like either one of you, both of you neglected the masculine or feminine energies within yourselves or your person to focus on other obligations career opportunities but i see where you guys are willing to make it work especially with the two of cups here i see where you're willing to make it work you're going to do whatever it takes um you know coming out here as the emperor and the king of wands you're going to do whatever it takes especially to have this new beginning this new um i just heard reuniting with love loving yourself more treating yourself and caring for yourself more especially because that's the only way that your empress will be able to start coming towards you or recognizing you or you going you know towards them or both equally um again with the tower card you guys are going to be going through a lot of changes a lot of downloads um you know, you'll, you'll even have memories, like a lot of memories will be coming through just to see how much you've learned, see how much you've grown, see how much, you know, you've healed. And if not, then you still definitely need to heal a lot of trauma, a lot of wounds, um, a lot of pain, ca even caused by others. You're still going to need to do that. I'm getting something here to do with children, but we'll tap into that in a minute. It could have to do with your inner child. It could have to do with you guys having children. Not necessarily with your person, but I mean, for the most part, for most of you, I'm not seeing children with your person. It could be something that you guys desire and want, but at this time, I'm getting a different story here. Like, I do see where you guys are maturing enough you know wanting to settle down it's like you guys are wanting these things you're wanting to move forward you're wanting to move on you're wanting to go you know places but um you know like you're trying to make everything happen so that way you can prepare yourself for when you do meet your divine feminine like you guys are trying to get everything in order as much as you can. I'm getting something to do with the crowd. The crowd that you hang around. The crowd that you guys spend time with. Not all of them are bad or anything like that. I'm not saying that. It's just there's something to do with the particular crowd. Like maybe you're the type of person that needs to be around a crowd. You know, in order to hide that pain. Hide those feelings. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe, you know you don't like the idea of being alone so you surround yourself with crowds I, I, but i'm also getting fake friends fake friends fake homies people people not understanding your situation 
and they're not going to they're not going to understand your twin flame dynamic they're not going to understand but it's up to you if you want to fight for that it's up to you if that's you. i mean <laughs> i just heard fighting for her so yes you guys are in agreement so it's like i'm fighting for her so yes you guys are definitely in agreement all right what else talk to me dms what else what else is going on? What else is going on in your head? I mean, I know we were talking about the crowds, the fake friends. I mean, you guys overall seem to be doing well in your career and you'll only succeed and get further and higher. But I do see where you guys want to build and have that legacy even with them. You know, you guys want to have that. Some of you don't have that. Some of you had it, you know, even with other people, but it just wasn't right. <laughs> I just heard not with us. <laughs> not with us all right all right i feel you i feel you what else is eat some of you guys are family men or wanting to be family men mind you it's male or female well i mean take it however it resonates it's just i don't want you guys like getting hung up like on gender specifics here you guys are needing to oh look at this a lot of balance here a lot of balance here you have the temperance of two of pentacles and you have the justice and even the page of pentacles but either way ooh. oh my goodness my nose itches i'm getting taurus virgo capricorn energy even though it's not nobody specific but that's what's coming through heavily right now the earth signs are coming through heavy and every time i do the earth signs readings my nose goes crazy and that shit will last forever even on to like the other readings like it'll start with them it won't start with anybody else it'll start with them but anyways hold on what's going on here with the five of swords you guys spend too much in the past Too much thinking and overthinking too much wondering late nights can't sleep feeling nostalgic yep you have the six of cups the queen of wands and the five of cups you're constantly thinking of, of this person of your There's a need for you guys to raise your vibration, especially for you guys to be equally on the same level, the same position, and not to think the same because you and the DFs do tend to think the same and it's not gonna help your situation or even bringing this uh, you know, um, connection to life. Even though it can, but there's like so many variables to even explain or get into there really is let me go ahead and get the ten of pentacles because they want me to get into the ten of pentacles here knight of swords queen of pentacles king of cups you guys are in love you guys are ready you guys are okay and the queen of cups yep this is your other half. That's who you're wanting. That's who you're missing. That's who you care about and that's what you want. And you guys tend to spend a lot of time thinking about this, dreaming about this, feeling it. Like, I know you guys tend to feel the emotions, especially when you guys separate. Um, but you're kind of done. Like, I see where you guys are, like, done with that. Let me go ahead and get the Two of Pentacles here because they're bringing me to the Two of Pentacles. Like, I see where you guys could either become balanced and one within yourselves by having the king and queen of cups out here i see where that's happening but um <clears throat> it could be just you balancing that out yourself the masculine and feminine energies within yourself or it could be you and your person you and the dfs literally aligning <laughs> naturally as it should so with the two of pentacles, you have the star, the chariot, and the world card. So 
So there's a need for balance here. You're, I just heard stressing the fuck out. What are you stressing the fuck out? What are you stressed out about? Not having the time or place, not getting the attention, or not providing the attention. What is it? You, there's something that you guys will end up seeing clearly. Others of you, you do see clearly. You guys are making the necessary changes, especially for your own growth. You're healing, you're getting away, you're moving away from things that no longer serve you. A lot of you have family issues that need healing as well. Um, family matters that need to be taken care of. And you guys are juggling that as well. But especially here with the Ace of Swords, you guys are going to be receiving some type of communication, some type of confirmation, some type of information, news or messages, um, however, any which way. And it's going to... Excuse me. That was a sneeze. You guys, this is gonna. I just heard push notification. This is gonna push you guys, the universe, your guides, God, you know, whatever you guys believe in. They're literally pushing you guys. Yeah, you guys are going to be pushed into a certain direction here with certain things, images, words, symbols that you guys are going to be seeing, even synchronicities here. You guys are going to be seeing these things and it's not only just to call your attention um, when it comes to taking a plan of action here, especially moving towards, you know, your, your wish fulfillment, moving towards your desires, moving towards your DFs, but it all has to do with, you know, the inner healing, the inner work that you guys still have to do. I'm also getting something to do with attachment to the material things, the material world, um, because there's other things that you guys aren't seeing, especially when it comes to uh, unlocking and unveiling your own prosperity. <sighs> Channeling here. There's a channeled message coming through. I'm just trying to see what it is. I just heard, believe the truth. So whatever that truth is, I just heard believe it there's a decision that needs to be made once again two of wands and two of swords came out twice already nine of wands there's something that's weighing heavy on your heart heavy on your mind right now that's causing you to have the strength and courage in order to succeed in order to kind of bulldozer that shit like through um, especially when it comes into the 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 illusions um there's some type of truth some type of there's something that's going to be coming to light here let me go ahead and move this out the way there's something that's going to be coming to light here because i see where everything could be so good everything could be so freaking beautiful or this could just be, you know, you guys desiring this and dreaming this. But, um... Yeah, so once again, you have the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords. You have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, whatever this decision is, whether if it's money-making decision, whether, whether if it's... I don't know whatever this decision is it's just heavy on your mind heavy on your heart whatever had happened that was significant in your life is you yeah, have the devil I just heard something about telling about the truth telling the truth the truth will set you free but telling the truth about you telling the truth i don't know if this is you guys saying this or somebody saying this to you guys but there's something to do with the truth here unveiling unlocking the truth unleashing the truth it could be the truth about how you feel 
the truth about what happened, communicating clearly. There's something that's hidden in the dark. And it could be caused by you, it could be caused by them, it could be caused by something. But uh, it could be about anybody. It could be about the people around you. It could be about any, anything and anyone. Um, it's like once that's revealed, you guys will be able to move on, you know, swiftly, move forward swiftly. It could have to do with an ex, an ex-partner, ex-lover. And even if it's not an ex-lover, an ex-friend, you know, some former partnership or connection. Something that you guys need closure of. There's something that you guys need closure of in order to release it. Release that energy, release that attachment. You have the five of wands. And the ace of wands. Yep, the truth will set you free. Whatever this is, whatever it is that you guys are about to find out in your physical 3D, in your current life, um, it's going to set you free. You're going to release those attachments. You're going to, It's. it has something to do with things that you once, you, you thought you knew. It has something to do with what you thought you knew. But it was just kind of like enough to feed you guys, you know? Like it was just enough to say, all right, you know, like this is good enough. Like I don't want to deal with it or this is good enough. Like, you know, they, they don't need to know the truth or whatever, whatever the situation is. Um. It could be with ex-partners, baby mothers, baby fathers. It could be in regards to a promotion or job, interview. I just heard an ex-flame, an old flame. So whoever you guys had, you know, whatever connection or relations with, not relationship, but relations Well, now they're saying relationships before they were saying relations but um i'm also getting something to do with a mother child dynamic here that you're a part of or not a part of i'm hearing something to do with a parent trap you know like that movie the parent trap that's what i'm picking up on here something to do with the parent trap Yeah, there's something that's going to be revealed to you guys. Yeah, it's going to change you guys. It's going to change you guys around. It's going to change your mind, change the way you think, change the way you feel, change, you know, your, your perspective. It's going to change, um, you know, intimate relationships and connections with people. I'm getting single father vibes. I just heard single fathers. Whatever this is, it's going to change you guys. It's going to change the dynamic of everything, how you do everything, how you work, how you talk, how you walk. It's going to change you guys completely. And it's going to be a really great change too. Um, it's uncanny like how you guys are mirroring your higher selves your 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 twin flame journey here on your twin flame journey like you guys are mirroring one another there was something here with poor judgment and there was something here with poor judgment a toxic relationship something that wasn't healthy that you're kind of tied to i just heard 18 years for 18 years so maybe it does have to do with a child or children that you're tied to them for 18 years now so it probably does 
I'm also getting jail time for 18 years or somebody in regards to 18 years. But you're stuck with them for 18 years. I'm hearing like cool parent, like cool mom, cool dad, or cool father. Like a cool parent. So some of you guys might have multiple people. <laughs> one of them might not be so great. The other one might be cool according to you. But I keep getting parent trap. So either the person that you have kids with now, I just heard influenced by others. So whatever the situation was, either you were influenced by them, they were influenced by you or by others, vice versa. I mean, take it however it fits your situation. But there was something or someone here influenced by others. Okay, and now, now suddenly the energy is changing. Now suddenly you're looking for a better future, a brighter future. You're becoming a little bit more hopeful with this situation, with meeting. Yep, the energy switched. Everything just changed. Whatever all this was, yep, look at that. Even with the death card, everything just changed. A whole new cycle right here. Everything just changed. Because right now, it's, it's, it's just a matter of you guys focusing on the healing work right now. Letting go of whatever that happened in the situation. Like, I see that you guys are accepting it. But now, as far as your happiness goes, your happiness lies. Okay, so this whole thing just changed to her, meaning your divine feminine here. All right, so I guess the divine feminine is, I just heard my peace, my peace. So the divine feminines are coming, or at least the energy, or you guys are trying to bring them in. It's not even so much that they're coming in, you guys are trying to bring them in. Because you're like, I don't even want to talk about the old situation, I don't even want to talk about what was going on. That's why the whole dynamic here, the whole energy, that's why everything switched. And that's why everything just switched just now because you guys are like, no, I don't want to talk about that. Like, I just want to, I want to let that go. I want to leave that in the past. I'm done with that. I'm done with all this BS. I just want to focus on her, on us, on what we could be. Keep in mind, like I told the DFs, it's going to be a challenge. It might be depending on how you guys play your cards right i just heard not losing her <laughs> i'm not losing her no i mean right now you guys are marrying one another like there's so much love there's so much ad, you know adoration and admiration there like it's the only way for you guys to lose them okay we're not gonna talk about that you guys don't want to talk about that like nope i'm not losing her <laughs> like nope nope i don't care i'm not losing her like you guys are focused you guys are focused and driven and you guys are aligned at this time all right let's go to let's see let's see what else we can get let's see if we can get their energy your dynamic let's see if we can get that Actually, it's going to bother me if I don't shuffle it. <laughs> so. Like, you guys don't want to talk about the mistakes that were made. You don't want to talk about the decisions that you guys have, you know, done and accomplished. Because some of you guys... Although you guys weren't in agreement with it, but you guys are owning up to it. 
and at the same time it's like all right well you know whatever it is that you guys are dealing with i'm hearing something to do with publicity a publicity stunt or somebody finding out or hearing about it publicly or you know whatever the situation was whatever happened this is horrible <laughs> like i tried to save it i tried to revive it but it just it wasn't it wasn't working out <laughs> It was not working out. Let's do that again. So what's going on? Because clearly, I'm hearing Heart Attack by Trey Songs. So what's going on with the Divine Masculines? What's going on? What are they feeling? What's going on? Let's talk about the love here. Valentine's Day is coming up. Let's talk about the love here. There's always room for love, I just heard. So you have the Four of Cups, and you have the Chariot. You guys are ready for love. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on here. Like, you're ready to work with your, your spirit team, your tribe, your, your, with these common goals here. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Some of you guys are heartbroken after leaving them behind or heartbroken because they left you guys behind. And you have the Five of Cups at the end here. Others of you guys, it's in regards to the certain decisions that you guys have made based off of just, you know, impulse, erratic impulse here. Like these were just, you know, decisions that you're like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. And then you're just kind of like, great, like now you're tied down to certain energies, certain connections with certain people that you don't want to be tied down to. And that's probably where the 18 years came from. And so now, now you guys are stuck in that situation, but not to look at it in a negative way, not saying that you guys, you know, not, not in a negative way, like at all. You know, you guys are blessed to be in that situation, of course, because of, you know, the beautiful creations that came out of it, the beautiful projects, the beautiful things that came out of it. But it did affect your connection no doubt without a doubt it affected your your twin flame connection here your divine feminine to your you know divine masculine here like it, it really affected it i'm getting should i stay should i go but it's like you know you want this it's in your heart they want this too and you know that I'm hearing you defeated her so in other words you guys were the ones that were too busy playing in the field and given that they were the ones because here they are coming at the as the queen of pentacles so they were the ones giving their energy into the situation into this connection physically energetically mostly energetically all of this that i've been talking about has just been energetically um they've given too much of that energy that they weren't able to give to themselves and of course they blamed you for a lot of the things that they felt because of the situations that you were putting yourself in which you know kind of jeopardized the connection multiple times they're tired of the back and forth but now i see where now they're kind of like all right well should i trust this you know so i was also getting like should i stay or should i go and i was getting that more so from you guys from the dms here you divine masculines but now i'm also seeing it from them too of course you guys are mirroring one another so it could just be that they were thinking like you they were you know channeling their own divine masculine energy and they're just like you know what i'm not doing this they're like i gotta step into my empress mode here and that's what they've been doing which has been attracting you guys a lot more but they weren't the only ones you were attracted to everybody else too and it's not to blame you it's not to say that it's your fault it's not to say that you guys are horrible or anything like that no it's nothing like that it's just They chased after you until they stopped. And now you're chasing after them. You're wanting them. But then if they were to just, you know, at any minute, you know, start, you know, 
going in that direction towards you you'll end up turning around and running again you know it's like that whole runner chaser dynamic all over again but i'm also getting something to do with breaking hearts here and you guys are aware of that you guys are aware of that you guys are you know very apologetic and sorry about it like you guys feel the loss of them even if they were just to focus on themselves and their own career and even if there was somebody else that you know they could be entertaining or could entertain them and they felt the same way too they felt the same way with you too that there could be somebody else that you're entertained by or vice versa and it's like like you're both thinking the same way it's just not getting anybody anywhere so what else we have you guys here the emperors we have death so you guys have gone through some sudden change here like a rebirth and it wasn't pleasant it was some type of realization something that hit you something that woke you guys up to change course to change paths to change mindsets to lead you guys to that wish fulfillment to lead you guys to that overall happiness that inner child or more children i just heard I just heard, what are you not believing? <laughs> what are you guys not believing? Like, I'm seeing mostly you guys, but I'm also feeling where you guys are like, and it's not even them. Like, I'm not seeing the feminine, you know, divine feminines trying to come into this reading at all. Like, I see where you guys are trying to bring them into this reading. You guys are probably thinking about them. And because of your feelings and your love for them, it's like, all right, let's bring them into this reading. But they're not budging. They are definitely not budging. Like I could, you guys have undergone a lot of change and you're, you're still gonna continue to go, you know, undergo a lot of change, especially to have like this new romantic beginning with your divine feminines it's going to require a lot of compromise it's going to require a lot of you guys i don't want to say sacrificing i don't really like the idea of sacrificing but it's just it's going to require a lot of change a lot of compromise a lot of communication a lot of understanding i just heard spoken words or spoken the word yep that's exactly what it is you both here have a common goal you both are working towards that individually and at the same time simultaneously moving towards each other for your wish fulfillment for this happiness for this everlasting love this dance with life here I see it's just I mean overall it's a beautiful energy like I could see where both of you guys you know are coming in intertwined once again you guys are mirroring one another We have the ace of swords the eight of swords the six of swords i'm getting panicking what are you guys panicking about somebody here is panicking you can't be panicking somebody here is panicking here let me Panicking about what? What's going on here? Talk to me. I just keep, I keep hearing fight for her. That's what I keep hearing, fight for her. So you guys are willing to do whatever it takes to fight at this point. 
for others of you, I'm getting, I mean, for the most part, it's genuine. What I'm feeling, like the energy here, it is genuine. Like it is real, you guys are serious about this. So serious that you're willing to commit, so serious that you're willing to marry and settle down, that you're wanting this future, you're wanting to advance and progress together to have you know all these things that you guys could possibly want but when it comes to the judgment card here and then the ten of swords here someone is not letting go of the past it could be you could be them or it could be both you know it's just energies that i'm feeling here but one of you or both of you isn't letting go of the past and that's the only way for you guys to be able to have that ace of cups future here I just heard dead end job. So somebody could be stuck at a dead end job that they're no longer happy in. And that's what's taking most of their time, most of their energy. That's probably what's causing the delays here. It could be you guys, but it could also be them too. One or the other or both. But um, I'm getting the dead end job. It could be you guys need a new career. I mean, it could be anything. What are you guys... I just heard hiding from the truth that somebody's broke that somebody's running out of money needing more money hmm all right let's see what we can get from your DS Let's see. Let's see if they want to come through because I could see where you guys, I could see where you guys um, were trying to bring them in because they weren't coming in. See what we can get from the DMs. I just heard scared of her. What are you guys scared about? It's not what that's You're scared of her. Scared of what they might feel, scared of what they might think, scared of what they might say. What are you guys scared of? If they'll accept you in your situation. Her third wheel, third time's the charm. So, I guess if at first you don't succeed, try again. But in this case, for the third time, what's going on here? What's going on with that? There's imbalance here. I'm picking up on that. There is some level of imbalance here. I mean, I get a lot of daydreaming energy. I get some type of obsession, but mm. I'm getting that this is you guys. This is the DMs here as the Knave of Pentacles 
Or this could be somebody else. Oh, it could be you. <laughs> it could be you guys. It could be them also. And you have the Five of Swords. What is going on here? What's... I'm trying to get the DFs to come through. But they're being too quiet here. Yep, because they're being protected. Right now they're being protected. They're focused. So there's certain things that you guys might feel, once again, with the poor judgment. There's certain things that you guys might feel as though they're hiding something from you. Hiding certain intentions. Or you probably are aware of their intentions. Of this back and forth. What's going on here? You feel like they're slipping away, letting go, entertaining other people, not wanting to wait from you. I mean, you guys, what's going on? We're supposed to be getting the DFs here. This, we're supposed to be getting the DFs. I don't even think they want to talk. I don't even think they want to come through. They're trying to become stable in their own lives emotionally physically spiritually that's what they're at this is literally where they're at right now so it might even feel as though they're leaving like this is them not so much but this is like i guess like the spirit guides kind of coming through talking for them as them and this is them here I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because this energy up here I was not picking up from them at all like I was picking up more from you guys from your point of view but this here this is them this is it seeing eight cards so we'll pull out I guess we could pull out three more but I'm getting the number eight I'm getting the number eight so eight more I don't I don't know interesting energy here because like it's not so much that it's tricky it's just these are the messages from the dfs here and it's not directly from them that's the thing like it's not directly from them um i am getting baby mother energy here so i could see why the dfs are separated i could see why the dfs like aren't really coming through or you guys could be entertaining other DFs, not your personal twin flame here, but I don't know, like they're just, they're more suited and focused in their own direction, manifesting the things that they can in their life, accomplishing big goals. And I see them stepping into their masculine energy in order, in order to become more prosperous, in order to expand in order to flourish, to step into the limelight. They're leaving certain things behind and I'm also getting where they could even be leaving the connection behind temporarily, you know, just for their personal gain, personal growth. But don't look at it as something negative here. Th these three cards, I don't know what the hell these are. <laughs> Cause like these, these are their messages. But it, like I said, it's not directly from them. So, I mean, if you guys want to watch the DFs, you can go ahead and watch the DFs if you haven't done so already. Um, it's like they don't want to come through. <laughs> like they're closed off, like they don't want to come through. 
they're more focused and driven, you know, in their own direction. Working alongside with their spirit guides, with their spirit tribe, their team. They're just more focused on that. So, I mean, that's probably where this energy could come from at the same time a little bit. That's what it's coming as, but it's just they're not they're not wanting to come through. They're not wanting to come through like at all, not even to say hi. <laughs> not even to say anything. They're like, uh, oh, they'll be alright. They'll be okay. Right now we gotta focus on us ourselves. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pause on these. I'm being told to put a pause on these for a minute. Oops. Yeah, I'm being told to put a pause on these. I'll just finish up with later. Um, so let's get into let's let's see if they have any messages for you guys. And then we'll pull some songs. Oh my god. Whoops. Let's see if the DFs have any messages. I heard I want to hear from you. But I'm getting that that's more you guys. I feel you leaving me behind. I'm getting that this is more you guys. I mean, even though, once again, you guys could be mirroring one another, thinking the same thing, like I said before. Um, they could be thinking this because you guys are like focused on your your own personal agendas and obligations over here um so that's that could also be why they're closed off why they're not really coming through i'm afraid to contact you i'm also getting that this is you guys too <laughs> i wonder if you're happy without me I mean, some of them could be wondering this, or most, all of them. I, I wish I had treated you better. So it could have to do, I'm starting to understand our connection. So that time, that separation, it was obviously necessary and needed for them to see things clearly. However, they're not letting go of that <laughs> you know they're not gonna let go of you guys in a sense unless it's 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 necessary um but with the eight of cups there they are walking away in a sense that they um it's not to say that they don't love you guys or they don't care about the dms anymore no of course not the love is still there it's just they're just simply not focusing on it i wish things could be different so the situation shift that you guys have gotten into, and I'm talking about DMs here, the situation that you guys had gotten into um, in your own personal lives, it affected them in a way that was almost not forgiving, you know? So of course, like they had to heal from that. Some of them still might have those issues, but not so much. They do wish things could be different only because it's not how they pictured it you know like it's not like in their own perfect little dream and their perfect little minds it's not what they intended and vice versa i can't stop thinking about you they do obsess from time to time there's no denying that they do love you see you know it's the first time that card ever came out like of all the readings that i've done that's the first time this i love you card ever came out i hide behind material things well i'm not available some of them might not be available they might be like i mentioned before they might be you know with someone married or whatever the case just like you guys and it doesn't necessarily have to be physical this could just be energetical i mean most of it all feels energetic i know that i crossed the line with you it could be them desiring too much 
or just not, you know, leveled up, not... I left you before you could leave me. Well, because it was easier that way. It was easier to walk away. It was much, much easier that way. I am becoming a better person. Yeah, you guys, for the most part, you guys are pretty much mirroring one another here. Like, they have some doubts, they have some regrets, even wishful thinking, but I don't really see much, you know, physical action or any of that, like, heading in that direction. Like, I don't, I don't see, like, movement in that sense um, because they're, they're moving on their own. They're focusing on themselves. You know, they're not bothering you or anybody, or at least not trying to. You know, they can't really afford the distractions at this time. Because they're called for a higher purpose, for a higher good right now. Just like you guys. Although some of you guys, it's like you guys listen, you guys do it for a short period of time, and then that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Then you guys like kind of go back into that but you're trying to get out of that circle all right so let's go ahead and get some songs for you guys let's see like i felt a little bit of their energy in those messages you have sexy love let's get some songs for your situation you have Dile Que Tu Me Quieres by Osuna. Faithfully by Journey. I'm getting a lot of romanticizing here. I'm getting a lot of romanticizing. I'll Be There by Jackson 5. Noche de Sexo. <laughs> they got the same song, What's Love? I'm getting a sense of like embracing this connection more. Turn Your Lights Down Low, Bob Marley, Lauren Hill. That's the first time that song ever came out in all my readings. I'm getting Can't Live Without You, Charlie Wilson. So I'm getting a lot of masculine energy, of course, because I'm doing the DMs right now. But then you have Cater to You. I just heard I won't cater to you. And that's coming from the Divine Feminine. So some of them might still be upset, might still be hurt with whatever the situation you know was or is between you guys. Because I just heard I won't cater to you. And then I'm hearing I won't give up. Um, on and on, Erica Badu. No me conoces, <laughs> Mark Anthony. Let's see what else we got. We have Player. So a lot of them, they still think of you guys this way secretively they still think of you guys this way and we have suplicar we have drunk on your love brett eldridge we have best i ever had by drake got friends and you have lovers and friends so there's a little bit of mixed emotions in here there's love definitely but there's whatever you want they want me to keep going you have todo de ti Raul Alejandro oh 
Oh, my nose itches. I swear every time that happens, it's always earth signs. Someone like you, Adele. Like I said, like there's a lot of mixed energies in here. Don't want to try. That could also be something that you guys were conflicted about or they were conflicted about. Um, and that's, okay, that's where I was going to go um, with that song, Don't Want to Try. Because there was like that back and forth. You have Creep, TLC, and Cupid. So those are your songs. It might not be all of them just take what resonates you know pick whatever lyrics within these songs you can take a screenshot of it if you can see all of it um but with that particular song don't want to try by frankie j that was getting that conflicting energy and that was getting the same thing in the dfs reading too it was like that back and forth that they were tired of and fed up with even though it, you know it's not going on right now at this time but um it could just be that they were going back and forth in their minds in regards to the past and the future you know as far as what they want or it could just be um between you and somebody else and that was something you guys didn't even want to hear you guys are like uh -uh, nope i don't want to hear that and you're like i don't want to nope I don't want to get into it. It's like, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to, you're like, nope. I'm not losing her. Others of you, I'm hearing forgiving her. So maybe you've forgiven them for whatever situation that had, you know, blew out of proportion here. Or vice versa. getting that some of them will be watching this or most of them probably will be watching this reading so at the end i'm gonna go ahead and pull some messages from the dms let's see what it is that you guys want them to know even though we already pulled some messages for you guys in the dfs reading but because you know we didn't really get much of them and i know when it comes to catering them it's like oh. i'm sending you messages through people you have a very special gift that you need to share with the world. Financial abundance is on its way to you. Oops. That thing you're scared to do, please just do it. I'm getting that it has to do with your divine feminines, your twin flames here. I'm communicating with you through numbers, patterns, and symbols, which I did talk to you guys about that before. There is something better that I'm preparing you for. So whatever it is that you guys think that didn't work out, you know, it could be career work, you know, stuff like that. If you felt like maybe a certain friendship or partnership or collaboration didn't work out, it's because something's coming for the better. Do everything with love and Meraki. That's my message to you. Whoops. You are good enough. And you have to go through this darkness to get to the light. Don't be afraid. Relax. Take time to rest. Go with the flow. Everything is, is meant to be... Ev not everything is meant to be in your control. <laughs> and then it'll all make sense soon. Okay. So, those are your messages from the universe. I mean, I'd like to think overall, this was a good, interesting reading. Probably a little bit longer. I don't know. Maybe it was a little bit longer. Maybe you guys have more to say. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. you guys have anything else you want to add anything else you guys want to say what you're looking forward to resolving family issues i just heard i 
I just heard tired. I'm hearing tired by Janine Eagle. Um, yeah. I mean, overall, yeah, you guys are fed up and tired. You're fed up and tired of the same old thing. You guys keep putting yourselves down. You keep being too harsh on yourselves. Some of you thinking you're not growing or you're not. Uh, let's see. The thing is, you guys are walking away for a better future, for a better life, for your dreams, and I just heard for your dream girl. Now, on this journey, you're going to be walking alone here with the Ten of Swords. Whatever this journey is, whatever this plan is in the certain direction that you guys are going to be heading you guys are going to be doing it and going it alone or at least you need to i'm hearing that you guys need to be alone you're spending too much time you know surrounding yourself with people and even substances draining your energy that you don't actually spend time with yourself and i'm not talking about just exercising and you know getting a haircut or things like that like they really want you to go within to re-spark and renew that hope that faith that love that light within you guys i just heard to revamp <laughs> but definitely they want you to get out of your head because i'm seeing trapped emotions with the moon card here trapped emotions but unveiling the truth and certain hidden tendencies and desires miracles i also heard i mean overall you guys are moving forward with diligence you guys are you know being practical about it being careful about it being cautious and being patient and a lot of you, you're taking your sweet time, which I was picking up before multiple times. You guys are taking your sweet time. And it's like you have moments where you want to rush in, but then it's like it's just energy. You know, it's like even physically, you might want to rush in physically, but there's no movement physically. This is just you, you know, laying up late at night, wondering what you did wrong, how you can fix certain things or what can improve. When will you meet this person? When will you have the life that you want? When will you take a break? When will you relax? When will you rest? Because you're not happy and you're not content with where you're at, with what you're doing. And even though you try to convince yourself and others of that, you're not. And you're only fooling yourselves. And of course, I mean, the only thing that you can do is just be patient and just nurture the soul within, your source within. It's the only thing you can do. It's like instead of spending too much time worrying about everything else, trying to control everything, just relax. Because you already know that it's not necessarily within your control. And don't beat yourselves up for it either. Regardless of what other people might think, what other people might say. They don't want you guys to beat yourselves up for whatever had happened in the, you know, in the past. Not just with your person, but with other people, other situations. You know, you're owning up to the truth, you're owning up to... You know, whatever the case, whatever your situations are. And there's many. Whatever illusions, dark thoughts, dark feelings. And that isn't conducive for your health, for your growth, for your relationship, for anything. 
but I do see where you guys, you know, like you're hopeful for the situation to improve, to get better. You're, you're hopeful. You're seeing the end. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Just as long as you stop listening to others and stop listening to the stories that you keep telling yourselves in regards to this connection. I just heard in regards to this female <laughs> in this relationship. Maybe you guys are involved with somebody. I'm also picking that up too. You guys are involved with somebody. You're secretly seeing somebody and you're just kind of like, I don't know what to do. It's like, I don't want to be with them. I don't want to be with this person. It's like, I want this, but... You're getting in your own way here with the Eight of Swords. Trying to hide your feelings for what they are. I'm also hearing keeping your options open. So, I mean, I don't know. I see some of you guys might be going back to your old ways, although you're trying not to. Because I see you guys trying to be hopeful. And just, you know, still walking with your head high in the direction that you need to go into, that you're being guided through. I'm also seeing where you guys don't want to be bothered. You don't want to be bothered. Like, a lot of you just, you want to be carried, you want to be caressed, you want to be loved, you want to be held. end of the day i'm also hearing where some of you guys could be caught between two women some of you guys could be caught between two women but i'm also picking up here that the queen of wands and the queen of cups is the same person the same energy or similar energies but the same person you could be walking away from fear from doubt from worry from anxiety from a particular lifestyle You're ready to start a new plan, a new birth, a new cycle. You could be coming in contact with your your multiple versions of yourselves. You could be seeing multiple versions of yourselves and that could be triggering you guys also. Like having those memories coming back to you. Memories of good times, memories with other people. Memories when things were easier, memories of situations, memories of you and your twin flame. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, getting a lot of downloads here for you guys. And just nurturing yourselves, loving yourselves, caring for yourselves, nurturing the feminine side of you guys by healing from within. Rather than turning to other people and situations, you need to heal from within trust your guidance and soon you guys will be celebrating soon soon you guys will you'll be working alongside the right people that you need to be working with talking with the people that you need to talk to in the meantime i still couldn't really pick up much from the divine feminines because it doesn't seem like they want to come through and i know a lot of you guys feel like oh they're mad i just heard some of you say that like, they're mad. They're mad at us. They're upset with us. Could be. But it could also be that they're just trying to focus on themselves right now. It's like, the love is still there. Don't get me wrong. Believe me. The love is still there. Um... I know you okay so some of you guys are wanting advice so i'll go ahead and pull at least three cards for advice here we'll pull three cards for advice for the dms what does the universe or spirit or the dfs or anybody what do they want the dms to know what are some advice that we can get from them for them <laughs> what's some advice we can get for them going with it Turning to love. 
and the energy and everything is being reciprocated. You guys are, right now, you guys are mirroring one another. You guys don't believe it, but everything is paying off. I do see where the energy and everything is being reciprocated. Whatever you give in and put into, you'll get that same equal amount. Of course, you got to work for it. I mean, really, it's just to focus on the love from within. Okay? You're being guided here with the high priestess. This could be your spirit guide, your, the person that you console. Or whoever it doesn't have to be one entity it could be many but you are being guided you guys are being protected you're being called to really just take some time and visit I'm hearing visiting hours so I'm gonna do a visiting hour so there's a time for you to visit the center I just heard visit the center the core the source within to start healing and nurturing I just heard vibing <laughs> to start vibing I mean however it is that you guys you know come to I guess meditate or calm or you know I mean it could be literally anything but they want you to focus on the love aspect and not so much anything or anyone else or other people especially if this is what you want if this is who you want they want you to focus on the love aspect. Don't worry about the challenges. Don't worry about whether if it'll be difficult. Don't worry about anything that you don't need to concern yourselves with. Just focus on the love within yourself first and just keep doing that more. Keep enjoying that more. Keep clocking into that, I just heard. Tuning into that more. Because everything else, everything that you're putting out is going to come back to you. It's a matter of giving and receiving here. An equal give and take here. I mean, these are the three best cards that can come out. The three best cards for you guys, for advice from your spirit guides, higher self, God, the universe, even your DFs. Right now, this is the only thing you guys should be focusing on. Taking care of yourselves and your well-being. Because once you do this, you'll release all fear. You'll release all doubt all negative unwanted manipulative energies toxic energies and you know even toxic tendencies and, and temptations you'll be able to get rid of all those things especially if it's not healthy for you especially if you know when it comes to doing those things understand that there's a there's there's an equal uh give and take there you know there's like energy transferring you know between one another and you're gonna have to be careful when it comes to that because you're not going to know whose energy is pure enough. You're not going to know until all of a sudden you absorb it and take it in. They also want you to go within and trust your divine feminine, your own uh, feminine energies within. Okay. They want you guys to have that balance. It's like when you listen to that version of yourself, the feminine version of yourself, just as equally as you'll listen to the masculine versions of yourselves you'll see a lot clearly you'll see a lot more you'll understand at the same time that um you know when it comes to like these certain meetings with other people these certain connections you'll understand who's meant to stay who's meant to go why none of them should matter or will matter you'll understand like you'll be able to categorize them in level of, of importance of what certain individuals mean to you what role they play in your life because even if people let's say like even if they were to have like a good intention you know positive vibes you know you guys are cool and all this stuff they also come with a lot of other baggage that you know nothing about so whenever you guys are like in exchange with other people, it could be in the bedroom, could be in any which way, shape, or form. 
that's something you might want to be mindful of because it will affect your connection even with your twin flame it'll affect your connection in your household it'll affect your connection you know with any and everybody when it comes to just letting anybody in you know even i'm talking sexually so just be mindful of that just keep that in mind before you do that and same thing goes for them same thing goes for them too um other than that i guess i can just leave you guys with that thank you guys for tuning in and watching i hope that you guys found that this video was helpful and resonated with you guys and um be sure to have your notifications turned on so that you can stay tuned when i post more videos i will be posting uh, more videos for your signs your specific signs um towards you know just just for the the remainder of february towards march okay so thank you guys again and i will catch you next video oh and happy valentine's day <laughs> see ya